Hello and welcome to another episode of Soulwise with me, Semily Sherry. And in this episode, I'm exploring a spirit animal experience that I had recently. This one is called Spirit Animal Mouse, Tiny But Mighty Wisdom. At the end of January, we became aware we had mice in the house. This happened once before a couple of years ago, and so we were all prepared to bring out the amazingly successful humane traps again. You can read about that experience of Spirit Animal Mouse in a previous article called Of Mice and Men, a synchronicity lesson. This occurrence, however, came at the end of a month in which all my focus had been on work, as there were so many in need of appointments. I was aware that as a spirit messenger, mouse signals abundance and that I needed to pay attention to the small details of life. The location animals appear is usually also significant and in this case it was in the kitchen, the main downstairs room and the heart and hearth of our small cottage. So I knew that domestic matters were going to be taking centre stage for a while. Sure enough, within a day or so of their appearance, we had a call to say a cancellation had opened up. Could the wall and roof insulation team come to work on our house the following Monday, which was only three days away? To backpedal a bit and fill you in, last year we applied and were approved for a grant to have our cottage fully insulated to top specification and then fitted with an air source heat pump and solar panels. We have been heating our house with an oil boiler, which was already here when we moved in. As you can imagine, that sat rather uncomfortably with us and our desire to lower carbon emissions and treat Mother Earth's resources respectfully. The wood burning stove alone couldn't keep the old stone cottage warm enough or heat water. We now also had our doubts about relying on that too much anyway, with the latest research revealing the amount of health damaging pollution burning wood produces, as you can see on the WITCH website. The cost of installing a green energy system was way beyond our means, although we had already switched electricity suppliers to Octopus Energy, who supply 100% green power sourced from wind, solar and hydro. So we were thrilled when the Welsh Government introduced a grant to provide an eco option for homes heated by oil, gas or wood. So, back to our mice. We relocated five of our adorable visitors over the days before the insulation team arrived. In numerology, five represents major change, flexibility and choices that bring expansion into new and adventurous areas of life. It can also sometimes indicate little stresses and uh, firefighting to a certain extent of small things perhaps going awry. Anyone who knows me will tell you how much I love the quiet sanctuary of my own home, guarding and monitoring its energy carefully. Astrologically, my son is in the fourth house of home, so I am a very private person and feel most relaxed and myself in my own company and space. The idea of disruption to my sacred nest over several weeks was not easy for me to welcome, but I knew it had to be done. The mice presence was giving me a heads up, encouraging me to flow with the changes, to accept that everything would be rather chaotic for a while, but not to stress about it and to appreciate the abundant blessings coming my way. Message received loud and clear. The gift of this work being done with no expense to us was already an obvious, incredible gift. Okay, I thought, I can do this. The insulation team turned out to be a lovely, funny trio from the Welsh Valleys who kept us highly entertained as they worked. Strangely enough, I was rehearsing a show for which I had to perfect a Welsh accent, which I was finding challenging. So far, I was sounding more Pakistani than anything with my feeble attempts. My deepest apologies to native Welsh speakers. 
Now, here was the perfect chance to immerse my ears all day in the rhythm and peculiar sounds of a strong Welsh accent. I'm managing a pretty passable one now. Thank you, lads. There were a few unexpected bonuses to the work as well. Some old holy skirting board and some ugly pitted plastic window sills I'd been wondering what to do with were all replaced after the new heat retaining walls had been plastered. As I write this, we're awaiting the arrival of the plumbers to install the radiators and air source heat pump. Where are the main units and pipework for the heat pump? Both inside and on the outside of the kitchen wall at the exact spot where the mice were finding their way in and being trapped humanely. The website What Is My Spirit Animal cites myth and folklore sources from all over the world and has this to say about mouse symbolism. Seemingly everywhere, the prevalence of the mouse, along with its ability to adapt to an array of environmental conditions, is equal to God's omnipresent nature. I see this as an indicator that our home is being prepared to cope better with further climate change, which is surely on the way. Then this piece of wisdom seemed just about as appropriate as you can get for a green energy installation. If you love environmental friendly living, mice are outstanding role models. They know how to hoard and conserve in ingenious ways. The mouse remains ever aware that abundance wanes, and so the creature prepares for the lean periods in advance. As a spirit animal guide, mouse comes to symbolise the careful use of resources, whether it's regarding finances, personal energy or emotional output. Mouse's presence means it's time to monitor what you're consuming. The other thing I've noticed in the weeks since spirit animal mouse arrived is that my sense of timing is heightened. My precognitive awareness of small things is stronger and there is more synchronicity in general. I knew when a supplier was going to say they couldn't fulfill some work they'd just agreed to do for my partner. I met the very person on the street I'd been planning to call for days. Friends just happened to be at the same lunch venue for a sociable meal. I timed a big purchase perfectly for a significant cost saving. I call this everyday magic. And in Celtic mythology, you'll often find mice associated with magic. In the third branch of the Mabinogi, a mouse captured by Manawidan turns out to be the shape-shifting wife of a magician. That story also alludes to the theme of right management of resources. Manawidan catches the mouse wife in question while she's leading a mouse army that's been gobbling up his bounteous crops of corn. You'll also find mice showing up in fairy tales and folklore around the world, where they're often protagonists or help the heroine in some way, such as accomplishing seemingly impossible tasks like sorting seeds from ash. Most famously mice, or rats in some versions of the tale, become by magic the coachmen and footmen for Cinderella to attend the royal ball and meet her prince. At the same time as we were rounding up our rodent friends, a video went viral on Facebook where I saw it. A man was flummoxed by some mysterious invisible guests visiting his shed every night and tidying away the things he'd left strewn around. He thought his shed was haunted when he asked his filmmaker friend to set up a camera to find out what was going on, they captured a pair of tidy-minded mice diligently collecting everything up and putting it neatly away in a box. You can watch this charming and astonishing video on YouTube. Just go to the written version of my blog, the link is below, and you'll be able to watch that. Spirit animal mouse shown in splendid action. So there's a real observed truth behind this reputation of mouse benevolence and helpfulness towards humans. I wholeheartedly encourage you to explore the symbolic meaning of an animal if one appears to you in unusual or repetitive circumstances. I've learned to be aware of their presence more and more and know never to dismiss or ignore them. They remind you and I of our essential animal nature 
of the way we share one ecosystem with our fellow creatures and so how our lives are by nature intertwined, interdependent. Awareness of and respect for the interconnected web of life needs to be at the heart of all we do in the years to come. All of us, from the tiny mouse to the gigantic whale to the human race, have a form of power and wisdom. Every living being benefits when we acknowledge and share that. So as I read this, because it's taken me a little while to record this podcast, I have a very interesting part two to add to this story. So watch out for Mouse Wisdom part two, um, which will be coming, uh, I'm not exactly sure when, in a few weeks when I've managed to get myself more together. So that's it for this week's episode. As usual, sending you my love and blessings and reminding you of the bright light you hold within and shine to the world. Never underestimate the power and the effect that can have. Lots of love to you and I'll speak to you next time.